This is a memory palace for the brachial plexus. Built in Monks VR, it lets you learn the brachial plexus so that you can not only recall the entire system, but also understand the connections and interactions of all parts and pieces. The brachial plexus is a system of nerves that comes out of the neck and extends down the shoulder and into the arm. All medical students must learn the brachial plexus. It is an incredibly important part of human anatomy, as it forms the basis of the nerves in the arm and hand. Although it is not a particularly large system, the brachial plexus is rather complex, and in learning it, you must be able to recall not only what the root nerves are, but also how they crisscross and interact at various stages to form all the different nerves within the arm. In setting up our memory palace for the brachial plexus, we have encoded as much of this complexity into the space itself in order to make the memory palace actually useful for medical practitioners. There are effectively five key components within the brachial plexus the roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and terminal branches. We have set up five different zones within the memory palace to correspond to each of these five components. To use this memory palace, explore the space and follow the prompts on the instructor spots to create mnemonic images for each piece of information. This is what the space might look like filled out with images. Once we have our mnemonics, we want to create a story to link everything together. Let me take you through an example using mnemonics chosen by orthopedic trainees in the very first workshop in which I presented this memory palace. At the Carrick Comedy Club, five performers are billed for one night. Charlie Chaplin, Chris Rock, Christina Aguilera, Captain America in his early World War II stage role, and Tina Turner. The carrot marks the space as the zone for roots, in which we have five nerves, C5, C6, C7, C8, and T1. So, we have four famous people whose names begin with C, and a fifth whose name begins with T. An elephant judges the performances. He declares Charlie Chaplin and Chris Rock, who performed a comedy piece together, to be the superior performance. Christina Aguilera was in the middle, and Captain America and Tina Turner's performance was inferior. The second component of the brachial plexus is the trunks, of which we have three, superior, middle, and inferior. Roots C5 and C6 go into the superior, C7 into the middle, and C8 and T1 into the inferior. The performance is so popular, the next night they have to do two separate shows. To make things easier, they clone the performers and send them off in two groups, taking the show on the road and performing on the backs of animals. One group performs on the back of an ant, the other performs on the back of an ass. All three groups perform in each set. After the trunks, we have the divisions, anterior and posterior. Within each division, we have all three trunks. The group continues on their route to a concert, but before they arrive, a child with a magnifying glass burns the ant, and the exoskeleton separates into two parts. One part rolls to the stage. Charlie Chaplin, Chris Rock, and Christina Aguilera climb out of the exoskeleton, dust themselves off, and climb up a ladder onto stage where they perform a musical comedy trio. Meanwhile, Captain America and Tina Turner, after the violent death of the ant, decide they are now done with performing and cash in one of Tina's medallions to buy some popcorn and enjoy the show. The ass arrives at the concert in one piece, and the stars perform from the back of the donkey. After the divisions, we have the chords, represented by the guitar and the concert. The anterior division splits into the lateral chord, represented by the ladder, and the medial cord, represented by the medallion used to buy the popcorn. The entire posterior division becomes the posterior cord. We've now covered four of the five key zones of the brachial plexus. You may have noticed some images around the platforms that we didn't yet include in the stories. These are nerves that come directly out of each stage of the brachial plexus. For example, coming directly out of the roots, we have the dorsal scapular nerve from C5, the nerve leading to the subclavius from C5 and C6, and the long thoracic from C5, C6, and C7. We can enhance our story to include all of these. During the performance at the Carrot Comedy Club, Charlie Chaplin paddles an inflatable dolphin across the sea with a large scalpel. The scalpel touches the plastic, however, and the dolphin pops. He is then rescued by a submarine. He and Chris Rock then play a duet on the piano, during which Christina Aguilera comes in on the back of a long dinosaur to join them. They sing one song together, then the comedians leave to let the singer sing. The dolphin reminds me of dorsal, and the scalpel of scapular. Out of the C5 nerve, Charlie Chaplin, we have the dorsal scapular nerve. The word for piano in German is Klavier, 
So this, along with the submarine, is my mnemonic for the nerve leading to the subclavius. Finally, we have the long dinosaur, which is actually an image of something Jurassic. So this is my mnemonic for the long thoracic. Coming out of the superior trunk, we have the suprascapular nerve. So I think of Charlie Chaplin and Chris Rock, who were deemed superior by the elephant, winning a bowl of soup for their performance. But instead of a spoon, they have a scalpel. So they say that the soup is very sharp and has a bite to it. Soup with scalpel, suprascapular. In this way, I can recall not only the parts and pieces of the brachial plexus, but also what roots go into what terminal nerves via which channels. This is not just about memorizing information. It's about using spatial organization to really understand the complexity of a subject so that it can be used practically. By creating your own mnemonics and stories, you can quickly learn the entire brachial plexus and remember all the details long term. Most importantly, you will be able to accurately recall all the connections and relationships between nerves within the brachial plexus without getting them confused or mixed up over time. This memory palace is available in Monk's VR store. Monk's VR is Linguisticator software for building memory palaces in 3D and virtual reality. Please see the description below for more information on our software and our online course in memory, which will teach you how to build memory palaces for different subjects. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more memory palaces for languages and other subjects.